sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here, back again with some allergies. So don't mind my voice, but anywho, uh, I'm going to show you how to change the serial number on a RTL SDR dongle for Windows, using Windows. Well, using Windows, we should say. So uh, I'll throw a link in the description for the information in the video of this to my website to maybe help people out a little bit better. But we're going to have to download the following here to make sure we have the driver, which I, I have already done this, and a lot of people probably have too if you're using SDR Sharp or HD SDR or whatnot. <clears throat> but uh, if you do need this, just scroll down and click on this little guy to uh, download it. So we'll close that. So anyway, it's downloaded here. So if we just open this guy up, we'll just click use. All right, so now here we go. We have this. So we need to go to options, list all devices. Then it'll list now a good many of them. Now here's where you may get confused. You might have to kind of look at it, unplug your RTL, see which one goes away, and then plug it back in. But like I said, I already have mine. <clears throat> uh, done up so yours may not look like this but you might want to look for like a bulk interface zero but mine's right here so if I click on this we already have the driver but if you show nothing here you can just click reinstall driver and we'll go ahead and do that <clears throat> now, it might take a second or two to kind of show that it's doing something, so don't get uh, freaked out. So, uh, it'll just take maybe a couple seconds here, depending on your computer setup. All right, and there we go. See, now it's starting to reinstall the driver since we already have it. <clears throat> and this shouldn't take too, too long. If it takes minutes and minutes, it's probably going to time out and not work. Uh, so it shouldn't probably take no more than like a minute. <clears throat> then it should come back uh, saying successfully installed or whatnot. So we'll just pause. All right, so now... We're good to go. So we can close out of that guy. Now, what we did was we have another terminal, I mean, another window opened up here. And I'm going to copy a link and just paste it here. Then we're just going to click go. And it's going to download the following zip file here. So what we can do is go ahead and open that guy up and, and unzip it. All right, with it unzipped, and we go ahead and open it up, we click on the 32, we can see some information in here. So what we're going to do is, this is where we're, the software that we're going to use to change the serial number of your uh, RTL, especially if you're using more than two. Using one RTL on a computer or a Pi or whatever is no problem, but uh, when you add multiple ones, they all got the same... Uh, serial number so we're just going to right click new text document then we can just click enter but anyway what we're going to do is open this guy up then we are going to paste in the following so here's the important thing we're going to go to file save as now we got to change the save as type to all files or this won't work and we can't make a bat file. So we can change this to whatever. We can just name it serial change dot bat. But we have to definitely remember to put the dot bat at the end of it. So we can click save. 
we are now done with that so we can close out that guy <clears throat> so now if we look we have a bat file here so if we double click on this and if all goes well this will pop up all right so if we look here here's what our tl serial number is currently here's where we want to change it to a zero so to do that we'll just say y and enter so now if we rerun this guy it should say that it's zero but let's not make a change let's say no let's go back into our text document that we just made we'll just click edit now let's change this to something totally different so let's say we use this uh for uh uat and we want to change it to uh 978 frequency then we'll know hey this one's used for 978 megahertz now you can change these numbers to whatever but we're just going to change this one to uh 978 save as and we can just rewrite over what we did here then make sure you add the dot bat and change the type to all files and yes we want to replace it we'll close <clears throat> now it'll come up all right our current is this we want to change it to this so we'll say yes done we'll open it back up again to verify and here's our new configuration for our serial number that's it folks that's how simple it is to uh, use Windows to do this. So hopefully this kind of helps out. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the, uh, the files. And uh, thanks for watching. And see you on the next one.